lesson is about the effects of weathering and soil erosion and how you can protect yourself from the effects of erosion. Did you know that weathering and erosion are process that act together to wear down and build up the Earth's surface? So now, what is weathering? Weathering is any process that breaks down rocks and minerals and creates sediments. Weathering wears away rocks and soil. The Earth's surface gets broken down through weathering. For as long as the earth has existed, weathering has helped shape the landscape. This is what you may see on mountain sides or along rivers and seashores. Wow! That's awesome! Do you know what is the main cause of weathering? Water? Yes! That's correct! Water is often the main cause of weathering, either as rain or ice. Rainwater can easily enter cracks in rocks or sidewalks. If this happens during cold months, the water may freeze and expand in the crack. Working as a wedge, the ice beats the rock. There are two types of weathering. The chemical and the mechanical. First, chemical weathering. It is the decomposition of rock caused by chemical reactions resulting in formation of new compound. The rust that we see and stains that we observe on some rocks are all caused by chemical weathering. Acids are one of the most reactive chemical weathering agents like acid rains that slowly wears away buildings and statues and damage roads and bridges. Second, mechanical or physical weathering is the breakdown of rock into smaller pieces. Example, running water and ocean waves move, carry, and break rocks into pieces. Some agents of mechanical weathering are gravity, water, people, wind, plants, and animals. Why do people break rocks? They break the rocks to build roads, bridges, houses, and construction purposes. The miners drill and dig through rocks in mountains to form tunnels and get precious minerals. So that's how the Earth's surface, constantly undergoing a natural breakdown process called weathering. Now, let us study about soil erosion. Soil is formed when rocks are continuously broken down by weathering. As pieces of the earth are broken down by weathering, they are carried away in a process called erosion. Erosion is the process by which natural forces or different agents move weathered rock and soil from one place to another. Some of the ancient erosion are wind, waves, running water, gravity, people, and animals, earthquake, volcanic eruption, and landslide can also change Earth's surface. What are some effects of soil erosion? Soil erosion decreases soil fertility, sends soil laden water downstream and can eventually lead to flooding. Soil erosion is agriculture's enemy and a major environmental threat to sustainability and productivity with knock-on effects on the climate crisis and food security. Soil erosion affects climate change 
cause erosion degrades land which means it can support fewer plants that can take in climate warming or carbon dioxide. How can you protect yourself from the effects of soil erosion? Soil erosion can be controlled and prevented by Number 1. Doing a forestation or planting crops and trees with deep roots that will draw nutrients from deep in the earth and also blind the soil together. Number 2. Farmers can also plant grass on lands that are not used for planting crops. Number 3. Terrace farming needs to be implemented to make hillside agriculture manageable. Terraces prevent erosion and allow more water to flow to crops. Number 4. To rehabilitate already damaged land, stop further degradation and put erosion prevent measures. In this way, we can help prevent hunger and reduce the climate crisis. Why should you have to show awareness and concern on the effects of soil erosion? You should have to show awareness and concern on the effects of weathering and soil erosion because these natural forces are responsible for the shape of our environment. Topsoil is the uppermost layer of soil from which you see plants sprout. Soil is where humankind's food supply and many interdependent plants and animals that rely on it. Soils also protect waterways from potentially harmful agricultural chemicals, preventing runoff from harming fish or polluting drinking water sources. Now we're done for today and I hope you learned about the effects of weathering and soil erosion and how you can protect yourself from the effects of erosion and also why should you show awareness and concern on the effects of soil erosion. See you on the next lesson. Bye-bye!